here's the video on uh, LDAP configuration on Cisco ASA and in this video we will be using um, Cisco ASA ASDM and this is a configuration we have a Windows Server anyways uh, let's go on and log into uh, the ASA and configure it accordingly so here we go just gonna log in going to take a moment until it loads I can uh, pause the video it will save you time okay here we go ASDM has been loaded let's go on and uh, click on configuration and then let's go to device management and then users uh, AAA and in here we're gonna add the the group the AA group and we're gonna call this uh, my LDAP and I'm gonna choose from protocol what type of protocol it is we're gonna choose LDAP you lose we we'll leave everything as default and let's click on OK you can click apply if you want else let's go on and add the server in the selected group what server it is the server is a local server on my network so I'm gonna leave this inside if it was outside I'd be choosing an outside server so let's go on and choose inside I'm gonna type the IP, the IP address for the LDAP server which is uh, 172.16.10.7 and the timeout I'll leave it default and the port I'll leave that default because that's the port which is being used and the server type information the, the actually the the SSL that stuff since I don't have one configure I'll leave that not enabled so unchecked and here uh, server type we could see what kind of server it is we already know our server is a Windows server so I'm going to choose Microsoft or if it was novel, I would use that or open the LDAP or Sun, etc. So, or we can just leave it automatically detected. And let's go ahead and type the base DN. The base DN going to be my domain controller's uh, name, such as, for example, for mine is pactano.local. So I'm going to type pactano. DC is pactano. DC1, DC2 is the second DC is dot local actually local so we tap these two okay no typos everything looks good I'll put it all levels in that scope and naming attribute I'm gonna put on this is a standard I'm gonna put on is a stand S A M A count name okay we don't modify that to anything else so let's go on and see in what account gonna be we're gonna say it is the administrator account and or is it it is an users users OU domain controller is that Pachtano and then a DC equal local and uh, let's go on and choose a pa uh, type in the password for this administrator the reason I use the administrator account is because that's what I use for my LDAP uh, configuration so that's my LDAP admin which we could modify that later but at this moment I've used that let's go and type in the password for this I'll leave everything else as default and that would be it for uh, so far configuration this configuration looks good let's go on and click OK I'm gonna go on and apply save it let's go and test this since I've used the administrator account I'm gonna say administrator and click OK 
there we go successful so that means this has been uh, successfully configured let's click on OK let's go on and uh, AAA access let's go and add that I want to add this to the to the SSH I'm gonna say my LDAP of course we're gonna leave this as use the local account when the server group fails so this is good to have it on you don't want to just take off so leave it on so I'm going to test it on SSH and uh, for enable I'm going to go on and for enable password I'm going to go on and use that also LDAP so it will fall on local if the LDAP server goes down or something happens let's go and click apply save there we go and uh, quick peek on my server here it is it's my LDAP server there we go as you see it anyways coming back let me log into uh, CLI to my Cisco here we are okay here we go I'm gonna go on and log in as the administrator account is it okay enable there we go we are logged in successfully it is looking good and uh, let's do a little bit more of testing let's go on and test our LDAP via command line we're gonna say test AAA server authentication authentication my LDAP that's what I choose my LDAP and where's the host the host is that 172.16.10.7 that's where my uh, server is this guy is configured for LDAP so LDAP is right here it's my LDAP server which I have configured in my previous uh, video as well so anyways uh, you can watch my previous video on how to configure it on Windows Server so I'm gonna say that is my host username administrator password let me type the password school one two three that's just a test let's see how it goes there we go it has been successful so this looks good there we go as you see it please take a look and let me know what you think and uh, Thank you for watching. What I will do is I'm going to create another video on how to configure it via CLI. And that would be more fun as well. Indeed. Let's go and uh, save this configuration. And uh, yes, my next video is going to be how to configure via uh, CLI. We could uh, do the same authentication in here as well. LDAP, we can just... Now use utilize LDAP for all of these uh, resources, even our uh, even our uh, ASDM. So for now, I'm just gonna clear them off, clear them, and clear them, and uh, I'll clear that as well. I'm okay with it. I won't. I may uh, turn off my test server now and then. I don't want to depend on that always. But anyways, this is it. Thank you for watching and uh, please do watch uh, the rest of my videos and please let me know how, how else would you do or how would you configure it and uh, that's pretty much it and uh, have a good evening.